Ridge capping. Fold the universal foam bung into a semicircle, ensuring the ends are tucked towards the center. Place into the void on the boss end so that the outer face rests against the end of the glazing bars. Using the silicone provided, run a continuous bead around the joint between the foam bung and the glazing bar top caps. Fitting the ridge cover. When fitting the ridge cover, first slot the holding down bolts into the groove on the underneath of the external ridge capping. Then attach the boss end foam trim around the perimeter of the underside of the boss end cover. Remove the adhesive tape and press firmly onto the underside of the capping. Slide the finial fully onto the ridge capping as far as it'll go. Slide the pieces of cresting into the open-ended channel of the external ridge cover. The last piece of cresting may have to be trimmed. See your installation guide for instructions. Lift the ridge capping assembly onto the top of the ridge assembly and push down so that it locates on the prongs of the ridge center. Slide the rectangular washer up the holding down bolts until it touches the ridge wings and finger tighten the nylon nut onto the holding down bolts to make the external ridge capping secure. Insert the wall plate capping adapter. Lift the wall plate capping assembly onto the top of the wall plate. Use a glazing mallet or similar plastic surfaced mallet to knock on the wall plate capping assembly onto the top of the adapter. For further detailed instructions on the wall plate capping assembly, please refer to the installation guide. Apply a bead of silicone around the edge of the quarter boss cover cap and attach to the end of the wall plate capping assembly. Primary seal to host wall. Once again, use the self-adhesive flashing tape included in your conservatory kit. Apply to the starter bar and wall bar to temporarily seal the conservatory from water ingress. Cut the flashing tape and apply the flashing tape to the host wall. The flashing tape should run down three courses of brick and run into the drainage channel. Although the flashing tape, if applied in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, can function for many years, it's not a long-term substitute for traditional lead flashing. We would recommend that you employ an experienced builder to carry out lead flashing works during the construction of your conservatory or at some time in the near future. Roof Glazing Installation If your glazing material is polycarbonate, it's important to note that the surface, which is protected by the printed polythene film, is the surface that is on the outside of the conservatory. Each roof glazing sheet is labelled with the corresponding number on your roof plan. Please note that if your conservatory roof has glass roof glazing sheets, some may require jointing with muntin bars. See the muntin bars section for instructions on how to install, as well as the back of the installation guide.